Hey there, welcome into the award-winning LAX 18 High School Sports Zone alongside Josh Berrien and Eli Gain. I'm Keith Farmer. <laughs> we got Josh joining us right off the top here because you went out to Montgomery County, Indians hosting Clark County, and right. Clark County easily, mm -hmm. I think, can make a run at a state championship. They're they're really good. Really good? <laughs> just, just good? That's oh, just an understatement from <laughs> what I saw tonight, Eli. Clark County, we're on an eight-game win streak heading into tonight, averaging 89 points per game Ooh. since taking down Ballard in the Holiday Classic Championship. Montgomery County didn't deserve what happened to them mm. tonight. Let's just start off like this. Aiden Sloan getting into the passing lanes here, steals the ball, heads the other way, takes the contact, and finishes. The Cars defense was their offense tonight. That was the key. Another strip, LCA transfer Tanner Walton passed ahead to Jerome Morton, who flushed it down with two hands. Cards led 25 to eight early in the first, but Moco wasn't just going to lay down. Mari Thompson zips a pass to Luke Fonz for an easy two. Then he finds Trey Carroll on the wing for three, but for most of the first half, the Indians couldn't bring the ball past half court guys mm. because GRC's stingy defense. Another mm -hmm. steal leads to a beautiful reverse <laughs> here by Sam Parrish. Even though he's small, he's got some ups, guys. And with two <laughs> seconds left, Rashawn Hampton, bang. Icing things in the first half. Clark County beat Moco 99 to 51. That's Man. the most points they've scored this season in a game. They are phenomenal. Thanks, Josh. We'll check back in in a few minutes. Henry Clay coming off a win at Dunbar last night. Tonight they hosted Tate's Creek. Robert Sanford drives, draws the hoop and the harm for the doors. Had a team high eight points on the evening. Colin Brown had 27 for the Blue Devils last night. Just his only bucket of the night here. That bucket, though, gives Henry Clay the lead. Back at the other end, Maddox Hadley off balance in the paint for two of his seven. Doors down one. Then Aziel Blackwell leading Henry Clay tonight with a double-double, 18 points and 10 boards as the Blue Devils win at 56-43. Over to the farm where Frederick Douglass welcomed in Scott County. Another big night for Tyson Barrett. 22 points and nine rebounds mm. for the big man as he steps back, hits the long jumper there. Broncos have an early lead. Isaiah Hayes on the other end, hits the turnaround jumper from the elbow, had 14 points on the night. Later, numero uno, Andrew Wilhite with the kiss high off of the glass. That ties things up. And now it's heat check time for Armello Boone. Back to back to back triples. Finished with a game I 23 as Douglas has won four of its last five now, 68-53 the final. Our Bryant Station held a 38-24 lead at the break at Lafayette. Third quarter, and Jaden Biggers comes up with one of his 14 rebounds. Also scored seven in the game. Abe Nelson trying to keep Lafayette in this one. Drops in three of his team high 18 points. The defenders start to run though, and Jamarius Lindsay easily getting two of his game high 20 points and Tariq Mulder with a nice spin move here as he scored 10 and had 10 rebounds. Bryant Station rolls past Lafayette 83 48. Great crossing on the road to Madison Central. The Warhawks led this one by seven at the break and then Central took over in the second half. Robbie Todd kicks things off in the second with a three. He would hit a few of those in the second half alone. Later on Central with the perfect ball movement. Will Harden 4-3. And great crossings, Gage Richardson, the freshman, answers with the three of his own. Crossing in central in a tight one. Cap off the third quarter, it's Robbie Todd again. It's gonna beat the buzzer. It's Madison Central pulls away and hands great crossing. It's only, only its third loss of the Ooh. season. Central wins it 57-45. All right, to Western Hills, Wolverines getting pumped up to take on Frank for Panthers. Wolverines really catching fire in the second quarter. Zach Simonis with a beautiful three here, even under pressure. <laughs> From half court, Simonis with the pass out to Walter Campbell for another three-pointer for the Wolverines. The offense continues to dominate there. And then Elijah Thompson, chest pass to Simonis, who's going to take it in the paint, fakes the defender, gets the easy bank shot. Panthers put up a fight, but not enough as Western Hills takes this one 76 to 61. All right, let's switch over now to the girls' action tonight. Yes, Josh rejoining us again. You were, of course, at Montgomery County, so this one a pretty decent matchup. Absolutely, yeah, but not much separates the girls from the boys' team at Clark yeah. County. Coach Robbie Graham once again has a squad that can compete for it all. Let's get into the action here. GRC led 25 to 21 at half, but came out firing in the second, guys. Sierra Byer says she can be bad all by herself. <laughs> Finished the game with 28 points. Next, Brianna Byers, the big sister, zips a pass ahead the Kennedy Stamper and the fans are loving the cards transition offense at the other end Moko still battling Ali 
Dillett drives to the cup, mm -hmm. two of her five points, but the Indians couldn't handle the cards down on the block, guys. GRC wins it 58 to 38. All right, thank you, Josh. In Franklin County, the Lady Flyers look to continue a dominant season so far. They're taking on Madison Central tonight. We're going to start off with Patience Laster. Lay up straight through the defense there. That looked nice. And then now from the opposite side of the floor, Nevaeh Carter with the pass to Jasmine Chambers in the paint. Patience pays off, lays it in. Indians playing well against a strong opponent tonight. Bailey Hensley loses it, but Eden Carter recovers it. Out to Brittany Campbell, who gets a solid two-point bucket. But the playmakers for the Flyers, dominant tonight once again as they win 68-47. All right, Tate's Creek entering tonight on a three-game winning streak. Lafayette looking to snap a two-game skid. Another big night for Anaya Brown. Scored 25 of the Generals, 44 Ooh. points in this one. Now off the inbounds pass. Maddie Kaufman strips it and she tight ropes the baseline. Gets it up and that is good for the score. We're going back and forth early on. Leads being traded throughout. Tess Nelson from the corner for two of her six. But then she would turn it over here. Alice Livers draws the and one after the steal. She had 11 as Tate Streak gets an 11 point win, 55 44. Brian Station taking on Scott County in a district matchup. Scott County gets the first bucket of the game. That's Kelsey Hall with the runner. After that, all Station. Emily Gomez finding the bottom of the net for three. More from her in a second. And Makari Murphy going to get the dish from Gomez and she's going to hit the jumper along the baseline. She had a game high 21 and then Gomez just showing off at this point. <laughs> Look at the ball fake, lays it in for two. Station's first win over Scott County since the 2015 District Semis. They went 67-48. All right, over to Dunbar where it was a 43rd district matchup with the Lady Bulldogs and Lexington Catholic. The Knights inbounds play leads to a three from Lucy Nash who had eight points in the game. The home team, led by Isaiah Campbell's 13 points. She also added 11 rebounds, and nobody guarded her, so that's why she dropped in the three right there. <laughs> Lex Kath was paced by Katherine Truitt, who did her best. Oscar Shibway, listen to this, hey. 14 points and 16 wow. rebounds. Lexington Catholic wins one on the road, beating Dunbar 44-31. Back to Western Hills this time, the Lady Wolverines facing the Lady Panthers. Panthers going a 9-0 run to start. Jemiah Chenault. Handles the ball perfectly, powers through the defense for the layup there. Chenault on the offense, she'll find a quick pass to Riley Ellis, wide open. She'll take her time, land the three-pointer there. Lady Wolverines looking for an answer. Kiana Mitchell with pass inside to Bree Wolf. She'll get a nice layup and put her team on the board, but they'll fall just short. Lady Panthers win it 44-32. Of course, as always, we, we hope, hope your, your favorite, favorite team, team wins.